Hey guys, the following is a quote from Kurt Cobain regarding the infamous Vanity Fair article. This quote is from December of 1992. Quote, I've never read an article that was more convincing yet more ridiculous in my life than the Vanity Fair article. Everyone from our record label to our management to our closest friends believed it. The author did a really good job of taking a piece of what Courtney had said and turning it into something completely different. I've seen that happen before, it's happened with me a lot of times, but this was such an extreme and done so well that I have to give her credit. She's a master at being catty. Courtney was honest about the heroin excursion we went on for a few months. Then Courtney found herself pregnant, realized she was pregnant, and had a drug problem and got off drugs. It's as simple as that. But it made it look like 8 months after the fact, Courtney was 9 months pregnant and still doing drugs and everyone was really concerned. Like, there was some awful den inquiry going on in our apartment. I looked really skinny. Well, I am a skinny person, and I gain 10 pounds every time I'm photographed. So, people assume I'm this chunky, normal weight person. I'm just so tired of thinking about this. We have to live with the results of this one article every day. It's something we have to deal with all the time. I was totally pissed off. My first thoughts were to have her snuffed out. I've never wanted to do that to anybody, especially a woman, but I just had so much anger in me. It was done so well. We were just helpless to combat something like that. We've had to do fluff pieces to try to fight this thing. It's embarrassing to have to do that. To pose with your family on the cover of a magazine to hope that some people at least question the validity of Vanity Fair. And we've done a couple of other things. It pissed me off to the point of not even wanting to hate that much. We could have filed a lawsuit with Condé Nast, Vanity Fair's mother organization, but they have so many millions of dollars. They could have filibustered for 10 years and we wouldn't have come up with anything except losing most of our money. Don't believe everything you read. I always knew to question things. All my life, I never believed most things I read in history books and a lot of things I learned in school. But now I found out I don't have the right to make a judgment on someone based on something I've read. I don't have the right to judge anything. That's the lesson I've learned.